Hmm, looks good to me. Alright. Go ahead and get it started. 3, 2, 1, go. What kind of layout we have first? Okay, both layout. Uh, that's a reset if I've ever seen one. That's fine. Will be okay, we'll get through this. Oh, actually, I'm trolling. Holy moly, dude, the amount of distance that I have to run here. All the names have Corona. Yeah, it's pretty funny, dude. Can't wait to trade with Delirium Softcore underscore Corona underscore Pickle Rick. A pretty funny name. Some real fucking comedians in my league. Oh, sorry. Demonetized already. Only been in like for a minute. I need level four. I can do this. Oh wait, isn't that the thing back there? Yeah, it is. All right, so we place the portal and we're gonna go back to it once we reach a uh, southern prison. Uh, this ancestral call makes our skill OP. Quick dash because it's nice. Make three door frames. I want a protector. And then I want War Banner on. I hate running left, dude. I really don't have another red socket anywhere. I guess not. Whatever, I'll be sick soon. The reward goes on. I don't need the aura for this. Not worth the second. Best of points are useless as well. Need this somewhere comfy. I can't level up any gems because I'm running left. Okay, finally. This is almost just as bad, but not quite. Okay, huge level. Actually, this can go in off in. Conserve space. No, I didn't mean to click on that. Alright, I'm running down. We can do this. There we go. Am I picking up items so fast? I clicked on them. I don't know. There's no like special gimmick for this one. I wish there was. Level 8. Okay. The cool thing about getting all the skill points in Act 1 is it means that I can actually use Hollow Palm on uh, Murrville. I'm really happy about Okay, we can go back to town. Then we go through our portal. I mean, I don't need smite, but I like it to be leveling up. Yeah, I guess there's no other way to go, huh? This is the top left. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Oop. Uh oh, I don't have uh, my double strike ready. There we go. Send out the boys. Did I get that skill point later? Yeah, I probably should. Not gonna be useful for now. Okay. I just have to not for, forget it. Oop, oop. No havoc, so you have to watch Tai Tai. I guess. Damn, dude. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Wouldn't be me, dude. Uh. Should have known better. I think I'm trying to force south too much. I think it'll just be a loop de loop. Like this. Oop. Oop. Delirium's actually kind of cool here. Oop. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Alright. They're good. Uh-huh. Yes, I see indeed. Yesly. There's the war burner, okay. Yeah, I guess I like that. I'll accept that chip. <laughs> That's pretty good. But he thought it out. He's telling me I'm not going the wrong way. I'd be very upset. Okay. Where's Dash at? Taking the boots right. Nope, oh, that's double strike. There we go. I learned in my last run to not use con or uh, not use uh flame dash that much. Uh let's grab waypoint and then I go around just randomly looking for this cave, I guess. Well it's not exactly random, but Basically, he's not going to be against the wall, and he's not going to be in the ocean. So we kind of like just search on land, generally. The only way I can describe it. Oop. Goose you down to being over here. Nope, oh, it's up one. Whoops. Damn. How am I? I'm good. How are you, Liddy? Just gaming, dude. Alright, we're gonna take this waypoint back to the other waypoint that we were just at, and we're gonna go kill Fergus. And then that way, when we go back to town, we'll uh, not have any backtracking to do. Yeah. Is that okay? A brimstone charm. Well, I mean, any talisman with brimstone sounds pretty cool. I'd probably pay for something that sounded like that. It'd actually be faster to log out there because it put me in the middle of town, I think. Let's hope that I get my skill point first and not like a million random gems. Oh yeah, you know, I just got a lust. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. Two more skill points, actually. Damn, I'm just off from reveal, I think. Sir! Open the chest like three times. Actually, I don't have time to wait for your response. I got a game. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna put my life less soon. If I refund the uh, chest piece node, I could actually go hollow palm on Merville. Not that I need to do that, but it'd be kind of nice. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try doing that. Okay. One, two, three, we're smite. Smite over frost blades. Okay. Yeah. That's a wonky swap. That could be a lot better, I think. But in sand. I definitely felt way better than double striking though. Am I still enjoying the League content? I mean, yeah, if you consider League content to be only racing content, sure. Do a quick uh, dump, I think. That'll be good. There we go. Didn't have to dump anything else, I don't think. Should be good. I uh, want my auras up here. Let's take off chance to bleed. Don't need that anymore. Don't need the double strike anymore. What else don't I need? Frost bleeds. I will be uh, playing group cell phone hardcore with some friends. But I'm too cheap to pay for slots, so. I think the only person I would allow in that isn't in the friend group would be Chip Idiot, but that's just because uh, it's a part of the Minecraft server team, and so I feel like it's only fair that he gets invited to the, the league as well. If this is a wall, you go up, otherwise, you just continue going down when you enter Chambersons too. 
ball side area. Very cool. I can actually gain some violent speed and momentum by taking out of the gladiator here. Up, 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 up. Goodbye. What is the cheat skill? The who now? Yo, I don't cheat, dude. You have to go to a different streamer for that one. I don't think he plays POE though. Alright, we need this waypoint because we gotta come back here. This waypoint's really long. If you find the waypoint like really close to town, you can reset it, but that's only in hopes of finding this layout. I need a bit of XP. Ideally, you want to be 16 on Weaver. Weaver is always going to be on the opposite side of the road from the waypoint. And Alira is going to be on the same side of the road. Oh, I'm frozen. Good thing I didn't bother to roll that on a flask beforehand. Not like that would have been smart or anything. And my old setup, I didn't have enough inventory space, so I think I have it now. Yeah, XP's good. Let's uh, one-shot the hell out of Weaver. Well, I guess we won't one-shot him, but we'll fist him really hard. There we go. Freeze DD, yeah, trying to PK me. Go Blood Rage. It's time for Hail of Ash. There we go. That should have been the opposite corner. Yeah, you can kill Weaver in one phase if you have the damage for it. You can do it if you have like, um... Double 14 craft. That's really hard to do. Requires like a good RNG as well, I believe. The chest links? Oh, not cheat links, the chest links. Yeah, you can either check my profile or you can click the little arrow somewhere on the screen to see the links. This layout, you... Well, in Wetlands layout, you like check the center. Like check around. And if it's not there, you go far to the left. And you look for this. I mean, I should have noted that this would be a left side oak. Hello oak. Colorful as always. But then you just keep going this way. And then go help Alira. Actually, no, I'm gonna kill Alira. I forgot. Silly me. What do I think I'm doing? I have enough resists. On League Start, you would probably help Alira for the resists and the mana and stuff, but this late in, we don't need it. I just realized that I forgot my Alchemist Quicksilver Flask of Adrenaline. I'm gonna equip that. Equip that. There we go. Don't mind me just trolling. Yeah, let's go back, get our skill points. And that's everything done in Act 2. Well, I do need to talk to Aramir real quick. Oh, oh. Hey, there we go. There we go. I mean, I think that amount of damage is like unnecessary, but it's kind of nice to have. So, how are we doing totems? If I was an actual melee run, I'd be pretty happy about that contempt right about now. I only need to hit 20 by Vol over Soul. Why I'm going out of my way to enter some of these rooms, I don't know. Guess would be that it's gonna be right here. Yep. Cool. 18, 18 naked cowboys in the elemental damage with attacks instead of chance to bleed. 
Uh, I need to bring up the POV for this build because I forgot where I'm supposed to go. I'll do it later. I don't think I actually need to go to the dex nodes early. <laughs> In all honesty. I do it just for fun. Oh yeah, Max is fine. Cool. And I got a good Northern as well. Northern's like one of the best zones to XP. If you're behind an XP, you farm Northern no matter what you're playing. Wait, where is this build? Oh. Some weird folder. I can build this flask now. Um... I can also replace the elemental proliferation with faster attacks. Cool. Nope, nope, getting debated. <laughs> Nothing in this corner doesn't look like. I could be wrong, but basically you're just looking at the outside of the zone without actually going to it. You see how I found the exit, like, even when I was nowhere even remotely close to it? Same deal here. That's the bottom right corner, and we're gonna look for the top right corner. Now we're gonna look for the top left corner. That doesn't connect. But we're, like, not gonna go into those corners. And you can see, like, the outsides of the zone, like, if you were to look at it. So this is the bottom left corner. And then we found the first flight of stairs in Ancient Pyramid. So it's going to be in the opposite corner. So that's the bottom left corner. We're going to run to the top right, and it'll be right over here. Same deal here. We're bottom left again, somehow. To the top right. We just go here. Oh, click the apex. And we make some popcorn, get ready for a movie. Something like that. Oh yeah, now I remember why I like passing through here. It's because it saves me these. I gotta refund those. <clears throat> But I do like being able to equip ass and ass early. Um, that should be everything I need for right this minute. Let me just fist this guy real quick. There we go. And goodbye. I wonder if it would be worthwhile for me to get more moving speed. Hmm, probably not. I mean, I definitely don't need damage. Once I have some time, we can run around, kill some packs and stuff. There we go. Sparkles, it doesn't work like that. Have I tried speedrunning with uh, Archmage? Yeah, I have. Sparkles, I'm gonna need you to stop and wait like a normal human being. Or I will turn me up. See you in a few minutes, bud. I'm just joking. To do a totem speed run? I thought about it, but it's just so awful. Beat piety because I like beating. Never mind. Let me see. Oh, yeah, now I remember what I wanted early. I wanted to go to the jewel. Whoops. Yeah, let's grab our sewer keys. For some reason, vendor walk is broken. I'm gonna dump real quick. Grab everything else. I don't know, I'm Beavis. Like that. No, I haven't posted an Archmage run on YouTube because I'm not very proud of them. They're pretty scuffed. Why isn't Reddit crying about vendor walking? Because nobody gives a flip. To be honest, there's like five people in the world that it affects, right? Nobody's going to care until end of the league when everybody tries to emulate it anyways. Let's see if I can do the thing. No, I'm, I'd suck at the game. Whatever. 
I don't care. I mean, I do care, but... Here in sewers, it's a really good zone to get XP. On top of that, there's always going to be one bust before the waypoint and two after. If it's not there, then it's going to be like at this exit over here, but the position of the second bust will give away the position of the third. Oh, what's I'm trolling. Watch my language. I knew that I couldn't cuss around my younger brother because my younger brother picks up on stuff. And so to, to get rid of that problem, like I myself did not want to curse around my little brother. And so I'd say like, flip you, dude, or screw you. I was like, hey, knock it off. So then I did, I just didn't have anything to say that was like rude or mean, and it sucked. Especially being like in eighth, like seventh grade, you know. All my friends are just like calling me all these like bad words, and I'm like, what the heck? And they're like, hey, watch it. <laughs> all right, I'm twenty. I'm close to twenty four, so I can go to docks here. But I do need to kill this pack, otherwise uh, I won't have quite as much XP as I'd like. If you're not 24, you can just go to Solaris first instead. Bullying my brother? No, I'm like talking about like my other friends, you know, when I play like Modern Warfare 2. The Christian stream? You're damn right. Am I Danny DeVito? All I'm saying is you've never seen me and Danny DeVito in the same room at the same time. Close to 24. Oh, I lost. Oh, now I actually lost. I am unable to win. Holy moly. Oop. So even though I have uh, the thing over here, I'm still going to kill more mobs so I can get more XP. Sure, why not? Delirium it up. Oop, oop. Basically, I just want to like full clear docks to guarantee that I won't be behind on XP at all. Most effective ways for your friends to bully, like for you to bully your friends or for your friends to bully you. You know, I played in uh, like a New Zealand slash Australian guild. No, 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 it was an Australian guild. In, uh, what was the clan? In Diablo 3. And so, for... For about a month, I just fucked and, uh, popped a greater risk with these, uh, these Australian mates of mine. And, uh... Every single time, anybody made a mistake, like the first mistake of the day... <laughs> you were a goner, dude. You were bullied relentlessly. Until somebody else slipped up. And then that person got bullied. And even if you were just previously bullied, you could still join in on the phone. You're just taking the shit out of each other. Or piss, I guess. I don't know. But basically, uh... We would just, like, bully each other. Like, the whole group would, like, join on in. The Aussie way, yeah, pretty much. Boop, boop. I don't need a, an amulet, so I skip that reward. I get the talc, and then we do a little skip over the sewers here. There we go. I really haven't put this jewel in, but I don't know if I have enough points for everything, so I'm just gonna wait a second. And it's not like I need more damage at the moment, so the only thing I do need is a bit of survivability. I don't know when I swap over to Conk Path. If it's like right at 28 or not, probably should be. That should be enough uh, points, I think. I don't know when I actually have like an animation to put in the jewel though. Not like I need anything anyways. Oh dear. Yeah, what up, Zombie Joe? Hold it, homie. Nah, he's he's good, dude. He's one of us. Hmm. 
<laughs> Corrupt police officer. <laughs> Not quite, but... Hey, how do you guys know I'm not the snitch? I'm like bogged. Make a call. Yo, no profanity, dude. Come on, dude. I know I'm not like tracking your every move. Everything you type in chat. I'm like actually at uh 9.47 p.m. Uh this person. Yeah, he said it. I mean, he didn't he didn't really say it. But I thought he did. He's guilty. That's the man right there, officer. Uh, yes, I have chosen to end the affair. Oh, I can't, because I got a respec it. Holy moly, I didn't one shot her. Build sucks. What class is this character? Well, this is a uh, duelist. I'm not 28, so I want to get 28. POE lab. Pull it up. Normal lab. There it is. Uh, well, now I definitely have enough points for this. All of blue. But since I want to be 28 before doing lab, then I'm going to get to uh, Dominus's chambers or whatever. Honestly, I want to like reset docks like once. The word sparkles, dude. Oh no. The stairs in Scepter of God will always be in the back. They're not gonna be in like the first two, obviously. You check the back two corners, and then now you just explore the other corners. But again, same principle as before. You don't need to go into the corner rooms, you just have to go near them like that. Like you can see the entrance or the stairs like way before you actually enter them. This room is always like, that's a bait almost, I feel like. Pretty sure there's a... Ah, I guess so. Nah, yeah, I missed the waypoint actually. I was indivisible. I'm not sure if that's the correct usage of that word, but... I agree. Oop. Okay, I'm gonna need some XP though, I think. The casual 10 passive points, no big deal. It's cause I don't have enough time, dude. Be busy gaming. Not like I need it anyways, you know what I'm saying? Pop, pop, pop. Straight to the top. Oh, this is a good time. I actually got a lot of time here. Check this out. I just stun locked this guy for eternity. Move over here. Refund this point. Put this jazz in. Get jazzed up. And then now I can refund these. Easy as that, dude. Not like it's the longest animation in the world or anything. And now we get up. Cool. I need Warchief, actually. Spell checker. Why not Tailwind? I'm not smart enough for that. I mean, I should go get the gladiator thing. I mean, like, if I was going for a world record or something, then I would, uh... Or I'd play, like, Tailwind, I guess, maybe. But honestly, this is just, like, how I would level a duelist. You could scale it down, because maybe you don't need to two-shot Dominus. Maybe you just want to, like, three or four-shot him. And that's perfectly fine. I don't have to dump anymore because I've got every item I need for the rest of the run. I think I start using Consecrated Path though. Oh, that's why I wanted to go to, to lab there. Right, I forgot. Consecrated Path. Let's use that instead of Smite. Start using some other juicers instead of Ancestral Call. I'm going to use... This the Lightning, I think. I don't know if that's better than Ellie Focus. Uh, let's actually use... Mr. Tax, yep. 
And then I'm going to replace the silver flask. Oop. There we go. This should have a uh, freeze immunity on it. Yeah, it does. Cool. Okay. Didn't lamp just reset though? Hold up. Nah, we're looking good. Special War Chief, replace Protector. Most of the time, I'll be able to use my uh, Whale Ancestral War Chief. So that won't be an issue. Boop, boop, boop. Dash. Um, instead of Ancestral Call, I'll use Melee Fizz. And now I actually just destroy everything, pretty much. Like, the idea isn't to, like, make... The weirdest tree in the world and then respec everything at the end the tree is to have like have something that's like usable as like a melee character later on Oop. i should go like jolem's blood or something i don't know sure sir i'm down that away. I could probably equip Astramentus for the last one. Boop, boop, boop. Or res cap so you can actually walk over this. If you didn't know. Boop. If you have like a level 24 flask equipped you can actually just pop it and walk over it as long as you don't get hit by another trap. Hmm. It's gonna be a wall. No. Uh, jeez, dude, that's the longest walk of my life. What's a recommend? Doctor recommends top right. I think he's so small. Top right again. What up, Fallen? Listen, dude, just because you're 200 pounds of muscle, you could pick me up with a single finger. Doesn't mean you need to call me a twink. This isn't the right way. Yo, I was lied to, dude. I was actually deceived. Yeah, that's right. Sometimes they get normal lab mixed up because it's like, who's doing normal lab out of all the human beings in the world? There it is. I don't even know why I bothered looking at it. Yeah, you could. Deceived, yeah. Actually tricked, dude. Like, look at this. It said top right, and I went top right. Alright. Triple lab key. Nice. Challenger charges. There it is, dude. Yeah, I mean, you could make a deck stacking boy in endgame. Sure, why not? Alright, there we go. I don't need pride right now because I don't need more damage. How's the run been going? Pretty nice. Pretty happy. A few blunders here and there, but... You know. If I'm the one playing, then... That can happen too. Go faster? I don't think I can. When uh, I can't play the game. Hey man, if uh, Streamlabs isn't crashing, then uh, Path of Exile is, so. Yeah, you asked how the run's going? I mean, it was going good. Wallpaper engine? That's right. I went to New Zealand, and uh, I found this net cafe. Well, I found a lot of net cafes, and a lot of them were pretty dog. And most of them didn't take card. That's pretty much all I had, was card. And so I found one that was like really nice and the service was like really good and they actually spoke English It was cool because I could communicate with them and um, They had this wallpaper out one of the days like I think I I want a little bit more XP, but one of the days I uh, I went there like after ExoCon to go practice I think it was like after the first day of XLCon, I went there to go practice more leveling. Like, 
a little like bolted off grabbed some food from the uh asian marketplace and then started a uh, game and i opened it up and it was this this wallpaper with like doggos and they're like swimming around and stuff and i was like that's so cute and i was just so happy and that's one of like there's nothing significant about that story whatsoever but when i think about that it just makes me happy like when i think of new zealand i think of like that among many other things obviously but you know when i think of that it just makes me happy and so i was searching around for like four months like trying to find that same exact wallpaper and eventually i caved in and uh, eventually just emailed staff support and i was like hey guys um could you could you tell me like what that wallpaper was it was like a little doggy sorry it's not very you know i'm not very helpful here they got back to me in like 24 hours and they were like oh yeah here you go uh it's like doggy corgi or something like that and we use wallpaper engine if you have any other questions let me know bro I was like, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Name was uh, E Force Cafe, I think, in New Zealand. Bunch of bros. Super helpful people. Yeah, you would think most of those people, most of those places would take card. Um, I mean, oh, we get to do this. We. And I think there might be another one coming up, so I want to save smoke mine charges. I mean, honestly, if I was to go Cyclone, I would probably just do it as, um... Ooh, that was really close. Either Facebreaker, so I could equip Shield and be super tanky. A Chungus, if you will. Or I would just do, like, dual wield swords. Well, I don't know, I freaked out. That couldn't be a thing. Valve Anti-Cheat. Maybe that's why I got kicked. I don't know. Oop, one-shot this dude. No, he lived with, like, one HP, dude. There's no way. Okay. Cheater? No, it's 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 a legit thing. So I want to be 32, so I don't have to... I, I'm going to grab the waypoint because I'm fearful of a disconnect. Oop. Bow, 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 bow. Bow. Yeah, I learned in my last run that I had a lot of XP problems when I used Smoke Mine too much because it meant that I wasn't using Consecrated Path. <laughs> That's fun. We. I mean, I don't think I need to equip Astromentus here, but I can. Up, 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 up. Tooltip DPS is 79,000. That's the reason why I don't like um, using like Twink Swords or like Twink Unique Axes. It's just because there's not a world in which I get this much damage at this point. Up. Let's go get our skill point. Real quick. Up. Okay. Don't have to turn it in. Like I said, we have enough inventory space for everything. Let's see if we have a fire waterfall over here. That'd be really cool, so I could showcase that as well. Because I'm ahead in XP. No, I don't think with that rock we can. Nope. Honestly, they could reduce the damage by half, and it would still be a good skill. A good way to level, in my opinion. I'm still gonna get YouTube comments, I feel like, after it gets, like, adjusted ever so slightly. Like, I could get, like, a 3% nerf, and YouTube would still ask me. Uh, Mr. Streamer? Oh, maybe it did have the fire waterfall. Maybe I'm just trolling. Yeah, I think I was just trolling, but whatever. People are still gonna say, Mr. Streamer, it got nerfed. Would I still level like this, or would I go caster if I wanted to play Cyclone in an endgame? Like, no. Play whatever you want to play in endgame, dude. Now you could technically play like Cyclone if you wanted to. I just think that this style of leveling is fun and unique, so... Yeah, like I said though, they could nerf the damage by half and it'd still be okay. Maybe a little bit weaker in endgame, but you just might need some better gear. What happened to my face? Uh, I got plastic surgery because someone on YouTube uh, said that uh, my face was ugly and that uh, I should get rid of my face in YouTube videos because they can't see the gameplay, which is understandable. But uh, now I'm beautiful, so I underwent a, a massive amount of change, I had to spend all my millions of dollars that I got from streamer money, and now I'm here. I don't like this layout. 
Wop. I gotta remember not to smoke mine so much. Because uh, Consecrated Path is basically a smoke mine in itself. Is that a debate? I feel like it's a debate, yep. It should be down. Blacksmiths. I just wanted the strong looks. And then give me more XP is kinda cool. How am I doing so much damage? Uh, Hollow Palm gives me damages for dexterity. It's a cluster, well it's not really a cluster duel, it's just like a, I mean I guess it is a cluster duel, but it's one of the new jewels and it makes it so that I gain flat damage based on how much dexterity I have. And they kind of overlooked how much damage it does early. There's like nothing in the video game that could give me this much flat damage early on. Here I'll show you the, actually no I can't show you the gem, sorry. I gotta put in passive points. I can while I wait for piety though, yeah we can just, we can just fist her real quick. I forgot to Ancestral War Chief. Oh well. It's this thing right here. Oop. There you go. Basically, I just gained a bunch of flat fizz. Oh, Vendor Walk's broken on Piety. Unfortunate. I should have equipped Ash Tremendous for that. Just play whatever isn't going to burn you out. Have fun while you're playing. God bless. If that isn't the truth. I mess it up, dude. Yo, this delirium is so scary, dude. I'm ending that. Pop, pop, pop. Let's go ahead and equip this real quick. Oh, I wasn't very efficient on that one. How much uh, anti cheese damage does the boss have? So, if you don't know, at the start of every fight, the boss in the axe take less damage than they would. After a few seconds, I don't know how much that number is. Mainly because I don't have a very accurate way of testing it. I was just gonna wait for somebody else to get it, but I kinda wanna test it myself. The issue is I'm kinda dumb. Don't possess the IQ required. Oh my. Yeah, but I don't know when it when it completely falls off. Oh yeah, there's a thing where if you try to vendor walk there, then she might bug out. Uh, let's see what I need to stash away. Yep, yep, yep. Uh... What am I still using? Oh, Ruthless. Yeah, I don't need Ruthless anymore. The still call we can get rid of. Pretty sure I'm still using a crew reward, but whatever. Oh my goodness. Looking at me funny. I like how he just gets stunned out of his animations. That's what I like the most about this. If you stand far away from Malachi, he has less less chances of uh, going into an animation. Very good. I don't need Smite at this very moment in time. I'll like it later on, but... You only want to tap once, because he will get stun locked out. Boop, boop. Yeah. Let's get attack speed over here. Pop, pop, pop. And goodbye. Yeah, let's go back to Currywood. Uh, we can go Jolem. Don't need that. Damn. And with the wham bam, thank you, ma'am. This sounds scary though. We gotta be a bit careful here. Maybe I want life nodes instead of uh, attack speed actually. And Jolem's woods looking at me kind of funny. I don't know. Last time I played this version of it. It was only really scary if I just played like an idiot. This league broke the whole game. That's why I'm gonna go play some ethical hardcore. I mean, I might as well call it Soul 7 Hardcore because I feel like there won't be too much trading going on. Possibly. Anybody not playing a melee in my friend group will be having a fun time. Anybody playing melee? Will not have a fun time because they'll be competing with me. I'm missing any skill points. Let me sure I got Piety's pets. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, I'm not going to just skip in the middle of the zone because, like I said, this is how I level on League Start. I would actually go get all skill points. Pop, pop.
Can I consecrate a path up that? I can. New racing skill. Get the balls of zeal. Or, sorry. Melee isn't a joke anymore? Well, Cyclone isn't a joke. Just about to level a tune with Hollow Palm yourself. Nice, that's what this is for. The boys have something to reference. Not that I've tried absolutely everything, but this has been the most fun. I've had leveling melee in a while. I mean, if I had uh, 7 League Steps with 10% MS enchant, then um, they would be too high level requirement, I believe. 6% would be like, whatever, I feel like. And I can't just like, get corrupts on it. There was actually a dude who had the corruption, and the boots were enchanted, so they were unusable. Greetings from Germany, greetings from the United States of America, brother. Alright, I have to repeat this zone a few times, but this is the farming zone, ladies and gentlemen. We have arrived. We have 666 life, don't we? Oh dear. I need to smoke mine a lot less often. Boop, boop, boop. Lost the ground, oh dear. Damn, damn, damn. I just realized that my portals are in a different spot than they usually are. Here we can grab our skill point and go. I think this is the Scion Life uh, node. Oh, I'm actually trolling, dude. I'm trolling again! Oh, I have had it for a little while now. Good time to crash, I guess. Do I have this build on my YouTube? Well, this build, this run, is going on my YouTube. So I learned that I actually need to farm this zone to like 42 in a twink run. In a normal run, you'd only farm to like 40, and that would be it. That's all you have to do. In a twink run though, you will fall behind in XP. If you don't farm this zone an adequate amount. Typically better to over farm than to under farm. I don't know why, that's just the way it is. Maybe 41 would be okay, but at that point you're getting very um, particular about needing to worry about stay in mob XP. That's a freeze explode box, sir. Any thoughts on Stormbrand, Archmage, and races? Good for longer races, bad on short races. You go Archmage, Orbastorms, Trickster probably. What a punk. That's what I've been doing in my more recent runs for like Awakener slash Act 10 practice. Boop, boop, boop. I need a bit more XP. Oh, did I actually get the Scion Life node? Oh, I did not. There we go. The scary thing about this build is that we actually don't get any flat life on gear, like at all. So, good luck with that. To rely on our fists to do the talking, surviving. Best time for Awakener? Uh, it's disgusting. I pretty much get to like high reds and then say like, okay, I've got enough to the POB and learn after this run. Then it would be worthwhile for me to finish Awakener. Like I'm not even looking anywhere close to 12 hours. It'd be closer to like, I don't know, 17 or something. I'm shooting for sub 12, but it's really hard to do now that they removed a lot of the easier methods, if you will, of using lower tier maps. Not ball lightning. It's um, 
All lightning is good, but I just want to play what's uh, probably the best right now because I can go Orb of Storms plus Archmage and use that. And then by the time that I get to reds and I need the single target, then I can just go uh, Stormbrand by then. And it's not even that big of a deal. But with Trickster, I can actually stay Orb of Storms like almost the entire time. Okay, so I'm 40 here and I'm gonna just place down Ancestral War Chief. And I'm gonna reset one more time. If this was a normal run, I definitely would have gone to Innocence. And in all my other Twink runs, I would have gone to Innocence. But for some reason on this build, I just find myself lacking XP. So rather than going through the zones, realizing that I'm under XP for Blood Aqueducts, I'm going to prevent the problem from ever occurring. I think that if there's a shorter race, I'd probably go mines though, most likely. I'm not sure though. I don't know how the times work out. Needs more testing. Up, 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 up. Good. Should be good. Dude, when my ancestral war chief starts spazzing out, it starts scaring me, dude. Now I had a, I had a run on Monday where I used a smite. Yesterday's run I used Consecrated Path. I found that I liked Consecrated Path because I didn't have to use Ancestral Call, which is one, a less multiplier, and two, isn't a more multiplier. But well, I guess I could actually one-shot him here if I were to do this. Take off a war banner. I'm too lazy to use it now. Um, I don't need that. I don't think I'll actually end up using the uh, Timeless Jewel, I feel like. It's just unnecessary. You could get a timeless jewel with like percent decks, and I found it to be completely not mandatory. I don't know, irrelevant, I guess. I mean, it's nice, but I'd rather just like have life or something. I don't know, like flat life on a jewel, maybe. I feel like instead of using this belt, I could probably use like uh. Stygian, like the two socket Stygian, and like some MS jewels. That'd probably be better, I think. Melee AoE? Yeah, that's where I'm going after. Uh... Well, actually, no, I already got the full Scion wheel. I'm going there plus Solar Steel. Yeah, okay, you should be coming up any second now. And then we get out. Cool. Darkness and Throne, thank you. I don't need, a uh, this anymore. Astromentus. Thank you, King. Atokotava. Please tell me this is the right way to go. Oh, thank goodness. Panicking for a second there. Boop, 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 boop. Up. Ow. Actually, a lot of fun. to equip this bad boy. My build hurt my hands list. Um, so it hurts it around a medium amount. Like my hands don't like hurt from playing this build. A build where like my hands would hurt would be like mines for example. I go ossuary. And then after this we're gonna portal out. I think I want to grab more portals just to make sure that I won't run out for the rest of the run and that could be my last dump. Not that I really need to, but... I don't know. Pop. Okay, we're gonna swing by our stash, dump everything. Do a little walk. Oh, I guess it's better to log out there, huh? Yeah, probably. I'm gonna grab some portals, grab our thing. That's, which one of these is the skill point? Did I pass it? Yes, I did. Oh no, I didn't get the skill point yet. That would be why. I see. Whoops. Blunder. Alright. Sorry, I'm just thinking five steps ahead. What you do here in this zone is you place a portal for that. And then you run down to Reliquary. This way you don't have to backtrack at all. 
Twink in a boys town? Nah, I'm a twink in the locker room. That's just because my uh, lunch did not smell very good. Basically, I went to Target and I got these two different sweet and sour uh, chicken, like little meals, uh, and from two, two different companies. And one of them was like, it already had the sauce, it already had the rice, it already had the chicken and everything. You just had to like literally just heat it up and then stir it and it's good to go. And it was pretty cheap, it was all right. It's a little bit like uh, cardboard, but for the most part, it, it smelled good. It was fine. The other one uh, basically handed me a bag of chicken nuggets from McDonald's and was like, here you go, bud. Uh, you're going to heat this up and then pour the sauce in. And I was like, all right, that can't be that bad, right? Oh, my. Uh, wrong. The entire thing smelled like food coloring. And I got uh, some uh, memories of when I was a child and I was painting Easter eggs and we would use like food coloring on the eggs. That's what it smelled like, and so the whole time I could only imagine that I was eating, like, eggs that were just painted on. That did not smell good. But yeah, the sweet and sour sauce was, like, had giga food coloring in it, so that it could look like it was from Panda Express or something, I don't know. It tasted alright, but I couldn't get over the smell, so. The food feel wet? It didn't feel that bad until I got to the very bottom of, uh, the food. And then it turns out that, uh... Up. And it turns out that there's just like a pool of like sweet and sour sauce sitting there. Surprisingly, I did not. Don't know how though. Almost time to replace one of these life flasks. Little in fact, this guy can and will one shot me. But the hearts have a little delay on when the minions actually come out, so if you can one-shot it, it's not scary. Turned out to be pre-chewed, yeah, I don't know any other way to- that it could be even more disgusting, but... <laughs> I think I'll wait to update my auras in a sec. Uh, Blood and Sand is not as intensive on my mana. Yeah, this will be the last one here. Whoa, dude. Careful. And we've got perfect res for this. Cool. I'm gonna go down to pink, perfect brinksman, brinksmanship. We're gonna get soul steel. Then I'm gonna get this life over here, probably the elemental damage. I don't know what else. Maybe Jolem's wood. I don't know. Maybe I'll path through here or something. I feel like I need the flat decks for now, though. I could technically get a second large dual socket, but I don't need it. Uh, let's go ahead and equip this. Oh yeah, you can run during this, by the way. No, my quicksilver flask. <laughs> don't want to lose that. I cost an exalt. Blood and sand on my hotbar. It doesn't really matter, dude. I'm killing bosses too quickly. I mean, technically, blood and sand should be on T rather than pride, but... Let's go ahead and do that then. Oh, I did not mean to call that, uh, that page up. Now our XP's, like, technically we're over XP, but we'll run into issues eventually. And level up with elemental hit. Don't know why you would. I don't think you can though. Only a few uh Only a few gems you can use while unarmed. Lost half a second to that? Yeah, that's a reset if I were seen one. Up, 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 up. Careful. Careful. One, two, three, four, and goodbye. Oh, I forgot to click the spike on. Oh no. Technically, if you wanted to uh, get the side quest, you could do it now. What you do is you tap the waypoint and you place a portal because the portal will put you closer to the uh, Twilight Strand than the going from the waypoint wheel. But in such a run, 
I don't really need to do that. I mean, I guess I could. We're going for like a full twinkle one. Alright, fine, I'll do it after chevroni, pepperoni. Just because on every character I like having it unlocked, for the most part. It really sucks to like, be missing like one or two gems in endgame, and then you're like, well, let me switch to my other character. Wee. Sure, dual wield opens up a lot of options, but what options do we need for damage? Uh, there's plenty of options. It's just that we don't have to utilize them for the most part. Same reason I'm like not using the wise oak and the lion eyes or lion's roar or whatever. Sure, we get them super early. Do I need to use them? No. I could actually replace the manifest though, I think. I think I'd rather use the Lion's Roar, because I'd rather have armor in boss fights. Up. I'm gonna go one here so I can try to kill him before he does anything, and then it should be able to be there for both of them. Up, 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 up. <laughs> that was scary. Okay. Portal out and I'll go do the beach quest. Hopefully we won't find a ghost. Please tell me I have water in this cup. <sighs> that water tasted dry. Uh, I don't want to tap. go through the delirium thing. Some dry ass water. I say. How can water be dry? Hey man, if you know, you know. Where is it? Is it that dude? Is it that dude? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Fuck the Lily. Oh boy. What do you got for me, Lily? Some refund points? Juice. Oh yeah, you got a skill point from this dude as well. Yep. I'm gonna show you efficient pathing for Aberanth. Now you only do this if you feel strong enough to do him. So he's gonna be on the side of this ledge as if you were going to a ship graveyard. You place a portal towards the ledge. You run on to the next uh, waypoint. Uh, right before the other skill point. So not this waypoint. I don't know why there's a waypoint in the western, but the next one. Yeah, there's nothing to do here. Oop. Oop. Now you go to Riverways and you take this waypoint back. Alright. Now you go through this portal and there's no backtracking whatsoever. And this way, you could grab the skill point right after, or you could uh, portal out and then go through the, uh, the waypoint and go to the other one. And then you can grab two uh, skill points at once. Very nice. I don't think I need any, uh, whatchamacallit. Whoa, 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 dude. Why does this guy take zero damage? That's why this boss is scary. Z deeps build, I guess. Build sucks. Oh yeah, I need a, a really big point here. There we go. I just want that up for some more damage. Okay, it looks like these get two shotted, and then we Ancestral War Chief and Booty Blast, and then we get two at a time here. I mean, honestly, if you're leveling up a Deadeye Ice Shot character, I would just follow the other Twinking Guide that I have on my YouTube for Reign of Errors instead. Up, 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 up. I feel like I could like equip 
like an incursion chest piece or something partway through the run and that'd make me a uh, super tanky so basically i'm getting a huge amount of percent life but with like no flat life on any pieces of gear i mean i could probably get a belt for it as well but these both increase dexterity and i like dexterity i will say though i wish i could replace this because uh it would make wise oak a lot better but i need the dex don't need it four for four we're going to Wendy's. I'm gonna get a uh, text for a second now. Oop. Berserking. I don't know why I didn't get that sooner, but whatever. I didn't know I could teleport over that. I go this way. Uh, should be over here. Yeah, there we go. Oof. The only way there. Do this. I want to grab this waypoint just because I've been crashing a lot and crashing here kind of sucks. Oh, and the delirium before it one shots me. Definitely not an overtuned mechanic, by the way. Fair and balanced. Again, we're a tiny bit over XP from what we want to be in a normal run, but this isn't a normal run, so. Infernal Blue. It's Consecrated Path. I'm gonna go totem. Just slam the ground. I actually really like uh, smite for this, and I also like having my mana flows for this as well. I need to take off blood rage actually. Just let the totem do all the work for a sec. Like no reason for me to have blood rage up. How do I get a belt like mine? I don't know, dude. One more money, I guess. You DM a guy that's selling one. Yeah, the totem movement kind of scares me a bit. The totem has more advanced movement than any other AI in this game. Funny how a uh, Vol Ancestral War Chief has more mobility than literally any Spectre or minion build in the game for that matter. Did I actually activate Blood Rage on uh, Instinct? Yes, I did. Interesting. I'm gonna teach you guys an animation skip and just a generic skip as well. So you activate these things, and then for some reason there's a little delay on the switch. You click this, and there's a delay on this as well. So you go to this corner right here, and the Waylum will be there before the boat, and then you can also Flame Dash, Smoke Mine, Blink Arrow, Leap Slam down that thing. Again, I don't trust the video game, so I'm going to grab this waypoint in case I crash for like a fifth time this run. Alright, it's not going to be to the right. I think I'm gonna go elemental damage, I don't know dude, like you could honestly do whatever you want with this tree, it doesn't matter. Go on level 3 though, I like that idea. Oh she's still talking. I'm worried that my consecrated path is gonna like, put me in harm's way by like throwing me into a slam or something. The way this works is you avoid the storm calls that are coming down in the circles and then you will be able to see the the waves like on the outside. I want to knock back a bit so I can have some room to see in the middle. You can see like um, whenever the wave starts to build up it's gonna start it's gonna throw a wave so like it just threw it in the same spot for some reason. Okay so like you can see that that wave's gonna go like over there that wave's gonna follow the same pattern. I think if we get hit by a storm call, I'd die instantly actually. I'm pretty sure that's the way it goes here. There's like such a lack of visual clarity here, it's insane. Here we're gonna go Pantheons as well. Boop, boop. I don't know if that's the best one. 
I mean, you could go the one where you get benefit from standing still, but I'm not really stationary in this kind of a run. Up, up, up. Let's go ahead and grab our, uh, our flask thing, I guess. I don't know. It's not important for this run, but maybe you forgot a flask or something on yours, on your alt account or alt character, I guess. You wouldn't do this on an alt account because you would need to do trials and stuff. Oh, I'm trolling. Character moves fast, but not that fast. Oh, it's because I have the career ward off. Because it has a different anoint as well. Oop. How do I know when I'm underleveled when racing? Do I use certain areas as checkpoints? Yeah. I do. Um, like for example, Act 1, you want to be anywhere within like level 11 to 13, usually you'd be around level 12. Act 2, you'll be around level 20. Act 3, you'll be around 28, depending on if you did lab, if you're waiting to do lab. Um, and then basically you just want to be like ready for innocence and typically I find- why did I run a trial? Uh, typically I find that I just farm innocence till about 40 and I'm good to go. And then I don't need to do any worrying or any like, you know, planning. I just want to hit Blood Aqueducts by level 54. For some reason though, in a twink run like this, I tend to have a little bit of XP problems. Sorry, I was thinking about how I wanted to explain it, so I just autopiloted the troll. I switch between Blood and Sand. I should, but I don't have the IQ required. You could do it better than I do, but... It's really not important when you fist a boss three times and it dies, right? So, it's not like that extra 4% increased attack speed is going to be the difference between life or death. On a boss, at least. Here we activate it, and then we go to this one because this is the portal that opens up first. But yeah, gener generally, you want to be three levels below the zone. Every 16 levels, this increases by one. Then level 20 zone, you want to be 16. And level 24 zone, you want to be 20. And level 32 zone, you only need to be like... Uh, well, you still need to be 28. But in a 37 zone, you could be 32, for example, and you'd still be perfectly fun in XP. You can be like, give or take a level. Am I going to crash here? Looking like a crash. Oh, nope. Yeah, you can be give or take a level. Doesn't really matter. Uh, as long as you're... Like, not too far behind. As long as you're not two levels behind, like, this XP, uh, threshold, you're fine. I wanna place that near the, uh, the other dude. Oh, I should equip Astromentus real quick. Just in case. Like, later on, I'll probably switch between Blood and Sand a bit more, and I'll actually equip Pride, but for now, I just don't need the damage. Maybe in the future, if this build gets nerfed, you might use Pride for a bit. Alright, so same thing as Chamber of Sin 2 in Act 2. When you enter, you just automatically go down, like, to the wall that I just checked. Because if it's... If there's just a wall there, then it's always gonna be, like, up in some manner. Okay, well, actually, no. Not in, not in Act 7. Act 7's a little weird, but in Act 2, it's gonna follow that principle. This one might actually... That's the trial, and then it should be down this way. But it's always going to be like up this way in some way. The yeah, act is a bit different. Sorry, I lied to you guys. Sorry. Learned that one from, uh... I'm trying not to call anybody out, but you know. Anybody who ever lied to you before also lied to me. My server's going down in a bit. Uh, nope, I'm just crashing like it was League Start. Which I guess at this point uh, is pretty much any day of the week now. Uh, because... That's just how performance is nowadays. They were like, oh, you guys thought League Star was bad? We'll just make every day like that. Then you guys can't complain about League Star being worse, because that's just the status quo. You know what I'm saying? Kind of a genius move by grinding your games, if I'm going to be honest. Yeah, I don't think I... Uh, maybe I need damage on this boss, I'm not sure. I have to avoid the rain of arrows or whatever they are. I don't really know. I should definitely fall war chief though. 
Get her easy. See you back in uh, 10 minutes when you get some points back. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's go and equip this now. I should have been better at that swap, I think. So here in Northern Forest, the pathing is kind of important. You just kind of hug this wall looking for the Dread Thicket, and you place a portal outside of it. Then, you go all the way to Vol City. Alright, and then you take that portal back. The reason why I do that is because, again, no backtracking. Uh, as well as the fact that you get the skill point from the end of the causeways for Waylum. So it works out, dude. It works out. Can I consecrate a path over there? Uh, no, I cannot. Unfortunate. Whoa. Whoa, sir. Uh, can I smoke mine over that? Should be able to. Yeah. Waypoint. Bam, bam, bam. The catalyst. And then I should be able to do that as well. Good. Nice. Here I just recommend watching Carve's Guide. I like to just kind of check the middle. If this allows me to go in like super early like that, I think it's a bit weird. And it looks like it's a top left layout. Yep, it is. It's just based on... One, when you walk out, did you immediately find water or like a cliff? If so, you're gonna just hug that wall and go to the top right. When you go to like the center area, where there's like a cent like a huge walled off area, did you have to walk a long way to get in? Because if you did, then it's probably going to be in there. Otherwise, if it allows you to go into that central area like really quickly, it's probably going to be top left. My general rules for Whale City. I need to equip Astramentus for this jabroni, and I also need a Vol Double Strike, or Vol War Chief. Oh god! Ugh. We got one attack off. That was scary. Just wanna make sure there's no note in this corner. Hit that zone? Yeah, I recommend watching Karvorusku's guide. I can't roll my R's, unfortunately. He made his name the most rolling R's build name in the world. Get our two skill points here, and then we get our skill point here, as well as our flask if you need it, but... Could go to your lab. I don't need to. I am at least. Especially if you want to play like a champ. If you want to go champ or... <laughs> Slayer. Then uh, you, you would just spend the re refunds. I mean, you wouldn't even need the attack speed, really. I mean, if you have the money to play this build, you probably have 10 refunds lying around. Wait, right, if you didn't want to play Glad, then you definitely wouldn't go do Lub. Wait. And even if you're playing Marauder, you'd still do it kind of similar, but just slightly different. I get a lot of people asking me to do a speedrun as Marauder. And it'd just be kind of boring, because it'd just be ground slam. Like, it'd be similar, but it'd be a bit different. You just gotta apply yourself. There's so many different Marauder builds that it's hard to just, like, really do one. Damn, damn, damn. I think I'm doing the thing where I smoke mine around way too much again. For mobility, when I should just be using Consecrated Path. Once the temple like kind of goes purple, then you just look for the inside. Otherwise, like for these, you always just go to the opposite corner. Let's just, if we start in the bottom left, we're gonna go to the top right area, cool. When it turns this shade of purple or whatever, like the color of the area changes, you want to uh, to go this way over here. I'm gonna grab this Astramentus. And this is the most important part of the fight because if she doesn't go down to 50% immediately, she can phase out, and if she, like, say she moves here, she won't eat Silk until she returns back to her original location, which is over here. So even if she phases out here, it's okay, because it'll... It won't be, like, two animations, but... Obviously, it'll be annoying, but what was that? Wow, a Bramble Jack. Okay, 
can go back to crew reward. Very nice. Did I get the elemental damage? I mean, I feel like I don't really need it, but I could. I don't think I finished that, did I? Kind of indecisive. Kind of goes to show you could literally choose any passive skill you want and you would still win the game. No, I can't do that. Just go with the trees. Yeah, that's right. We do what you, do what you gotta do, right? This is a scary zone. I am not a huge fan of this zone. Oh, oh, I'm burning to death. Oh no, trick, there's a wall here, you can go through it. Flame dash, literally any mobility skill in the game can go through that wall. Oh, it's in the delirium. Or get one-shotted. Oh. As if I wouldn't outrun the fog anyways, but... Okay, not shield charge. Come on, you know what I meant. Oh, let's go Astramentus real quick. I'm a bit scared that she'll just jump on me, and I don't want to run in there immediately. I was doing a... who's calling me? Uh, one moment. Sound like it's gone forever. It's on my desk? Nope. Okay, one moment. Oh well. Am I clipping that part out? Nope, because I don't have an editor. Currently looking for editor, please. I will pay you in graham crackers. That's only because I'm out of animal crackers at the moment though. If you work overtime, you'll get animal crackers. Oh, I wish Consecrated Path just went a little bit further. What I'm gonna do here is kind of similar to the last thing. Oh no, never mind. Because the skill point's actually kind of close. Okay. Again, same principle, I don't want to backtrack. Area always fucks you up. So at the very start of the zone, you like hug the wall, like the ocean, after like a tiny bit, and you look for the uh, the little, the little, uh, onk, ink, whatever, for Clarissa and her boyfriend. Well, dead boyfriend now, but... You look for the ink for that, and then uh, once you get it, you just go towards the end and she'll be closer to the end of the zone. In this zone, you look for the dead bodies on the ground. So you're gonna look for like a... Oh, I missed it, isn't it? Isn't it over here? Oh, that's just because I know the layout. Yeah, see? There's a body right there. Although a lot of people know that one, because a lot of people are... Uh play PUE before I was born, back when this was like an Act 3 zone, I think. If you miss the small bridge, and not Clarissa, then I recommend at the start of the zone, literally just hug the ocean until you start to get the hang of it. That would be my recommendation. Someone call him my name. No, I think someone's just Gachi screaming at the top of their lungs because of uh, some video game travesty.
All right, here we're gonna go back to town, go through the portal, and go do Clarissa Amazing Tailwind. Nope. I'm just a gladiator. A feeble 20% increased uh, attack speed. Whoa, dude, that was a, a hot portal. That's scary. GGG is going to people's houses to cut off server connection. Yep, I believe it. For sure, dude. I'm gonna equip Ashmentus real quick. So this boss can actually be a bit scary. Not him himself, but with the little detonate dead things that go around a bit. Here I'm gonna just wait till later to get my skill points. I'm not gonna go on and fight the boss yet because I can still get a bit stronger. Although I think most of that could be through skill points, but we're getting them soon. Don't worry, lads. Normally, I don't do the Act 8 one that's in the... Uh, connected to the bathhouse. I don't know what that place is called. No, with all the porcupine. I hate that zone, but... Uh, basically, you just wait to do that till after Blood Aqueduct Farm in a normal run. Since we're though, we can go ahead and do it. Jardins, yes, thank you. The Jardins of Eden. If I don't have my freeze immunity up, I could actually die. I have to be a bit careful about my silver usage. I have to be a bit more conscious of it. Nope. Oh. Sure. Wish everyone a wonderful day. You too, coffee. I hope you have a wonderful day as well. Ba -ba 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 -ba. XP is not perfect, but it's looking alright for BA. I am not going to farm Blood Aqueducts very much because I am under the assumption that you have some good maps to run after Catava that you probably want to like spec in your full build with like, I don't know, a Zoff rotation followed by like some Uber Chayubis or Pure Chayubis. Uber Chayubis, imagine. Uber Pure Chayubi. It's like got all five. Breach Lords in it. Nah, I thought I could make it. What build am I making? Nah, I'm just making a leveling guide for the boys. That's all. I want this shrine even though I don't think it's the right way. I'm still gonna go grab it. The key for this zone is you always go up the stairs. If you ever go down the stairs, you're going in the wrong direction, friend. I mean, this applies to the same in uh, Act 3 as well, but I think I forgot to mention that there. Is there a cat outside my door? I think there is. But ever since I walked back to my computer and could not figure out why my earbuds weren't working, uh, later on to find that they were completely chewed through, cats are not allowed in my room anymore. Unfortunately. My nice little earbuds. And uh, we have two cats, so I couldn't quite tell which one of them did it. Uh, I took it over to cat number one, and she kind of like looked at the earbuds, you know, they were ripped. They were like literally bitten in half. She didn't really know what to make of them. She kind of like smelled them, looked at them. Thought that it was a little strange. I was like, was it you, cat number one? I was like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was like, all right. What about you, cat number two? And I've never seen a cat go <laughs> so fast in my life. Just literally. Went, I, 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 I. It's like a big old munch. Big old bite on it out of my earbuds that were already torn up, mind you. And I was like, I think we know which one of you did it. 
So cat number one is allowed in my room, but not cat number two. And usually it's cat number two that's scratching on my door. So it was cat number one. Cat number two was just expertly taking the fall. Maybe, maybe that's the case. Maybe it's a uh, crash or maybe it's Maybelline. Who knows, dude? He's hungry, dude. He's hungry. Feed him, please. Feed him. Holy moly, dude. Have you ever crashed this much in your life? I don't think so, dude. That is true, probably banana. I normally would reset this zone, but I already know where the exit is, so... Even though I can't see the minimap, I know that it's gonna be up. Stream is so fast, he crashes the game. Maybe it's just the Valve anti-cheat. What is this video, Ruiner? I'm gonna get banned. No more! I see. All right, sir, no blue board here, no Grawly here, sir. Let's not summon him, please. Let's do our best. You know, rather than uh, smack some porcupine group and die immediately, I think I'm just gonna, just gonna ignore it. If I see a porcupine group, I'm just walking past it. Yep, goodbye. Yep, goodbye. I want to kill you, but I can't. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> I changed my mind. In the heat of the moment. I got a Ziri flashbacks right there. Yeah. I, I was using my Astromentus the whole time. Whoops, I forgot. Oh well. Oh dear. I mean, at any moment in time, I could like equip an item that actually has life on it, and I would be perfectly fine, but... That's alright, Runer. You don't have to sub, dude. Nobody's forcing you to sub. Except for me. You don't, you don't get to sub the next five minutes, you're getting banned, dude. You're gone. Hope you know that, dude. You're gonna be out of here. Get him out of here. Hollowed, Palm, Endgame, Deep's fine. I don't know, dude. Never been past... Never seen a map in my life. Couldn't tell you. Vendor walk's a little bugged, but it's still sometimes usable. Skinamarinkadinkadink, skinamarinkadoo. I appreciate the Twitch Prime. I didn't- I don't know how to turn that into a sellout moment, but thanks dude. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm still using Astromentus, aren't I? And I can probably take off one of the, uh, Alchemist Quick Sword Flask of Adrenaline. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Kinda beating me up, dude. Not really a fan. Okay, we've got all the skill points in the world in the video game. Yeah, that's- that's fine. I'm gonna do this instead. There we go. Which one's 24% quality? That one's it. Did I reset the zone? No, I did not. I like to reset the zone for a bit more XP because we do want to be 54 entering BA. Do I have any Awakener practice on YouTube? Nope, because it's disgusting and it's awful and nobody should study off that VOD. Same with like my BV run. Like my BV runs were so bad. I'm only going to publish things that I feel okay in. Mostly because... You know, a lot of people say, I'm a perfectionist. I'm not a perfectionist, but I don't want to showcase something that's dog shit, you know? If, uh, if there's like a talent competition or like a talent show, then uh, I will not showcase any art because I don't want to make anybody lose their eyesight, you know? Here, if she ever throws her sh spear, you can actually just uh, dash behind her and she won't be able to hit you with it. I should, should bring her down. I don't know why it's not, but... Alright, there we go. It doesn't look like I'll get to show it this time around, but... There we go. I'm gonna farm this for a tiny bit. Why the fire trick first? Um... Just cause. I don't know. Probably bad to do fire trick first, to be honest. Just killing a... Actually, no, I remember why. It's cause... In the very last phase, the fire lady does something like weird. 
Oh, alright. Let's get this then. We're not gonna farm this to like 60 or anything, we're gonna farm to like 57. So we're only gonna reset a few times. Boop, boop, boop. I mean, it kind of does, because then it dictates which one you're killing last, but... Like, with the... the Lunar's one, she always does, like, the same stuff. I guess I could have gotten <laughs> some passive points in, huh? Yeah, I could have. Oh, well. Do it now. Need them. Good thing X9... Or Act 9 is, like, kind of... Quick, and then Act 10 is actually just the quickest thing in the world. And yeah, I want to finish the campaign and be able to do maps afterwards, so... I think I need to turn on my light. Oh, I can't do that without dying, I don't think. This is one of my favorite parts, because you literally just see a mob in the corner of the screen and you just right-click it. Pretty cool. It feels weird playing this build because you're not actually like looking at the minimap when you're doing BA and stuff like this. It's kind of hard to play and look at chat at the same time to be honest. Even like when I'm not in BA. Oh, there's no mobs. Kill. This is fast. Yep, that's right. That is indeed the goal. Uh, I don't know if 56 is good enough, but we'll take it. Actually, well, I just want to say that I did it in sub 2 hours. So I think I should be able to do the last 2x in under 20 minutes, probably. Hmm, maybe. Hey, one more run. Sub 120 acting Gadal is doable? Yeah, I think it's doable. I just can't be asked to do more uh, Twink Ranger runs. I've got bigger and better things to do, like playing the video game, but in other ways. Yeah, after this run, I think, then I go. Should be fine. Do I know my endgame six link gems for this build? Yeah, that's what I'm equipping at the moment. For like endgame endgame? Nope. Because I'm not gonna go do maps. This is just how I level a duelist. You could do something similar as Marauder. You could do something similar as like other classes as well. I've kind of showcased that it doesn't matter what passives you take. I mean, I'm missing like 10 at the moment. And it just does not matter. So. Where am I going in skill point by the way? Uh, let's just grab elemental damage with attacks. Let's grab Jolm's blood. Grab this life. Oh, I've already got that life. Hmm. Oh, where am I going? Here's just, just on autopilot, I guess. We're gonna get more life. Yoink. That's not life, but I'll take it, I guess. Um, Sir. That's not what I wanted to do. I could also get this... Dexterity node, big. Alright, why not? Okay, now not only do I... Crash every five seconds, but I also do a million damage. How are my online classes going? Poorly. Um, I'm keeping up with schoolwork. But I gotta tell you, man, I'm getting really lazy. I don't have anybody to talk to about schoolwork. Um, I have a lot of Snapchats, but I don't want to be that guy. Oh, we do have a patch coming out in one hour. Wait, I gotta, I gotta be honest, dude. I do not like my online classes. It's like... 
every single test, they're always like, don't take the test with another person. Just use your book like a normal human being. Because they're scared of like Corona and stuff. And I'm like, well, I wasn't going to talk with anybody anyways. But it's like, I don't have to like try as hard because it's online. So I feel like the quality of my learning has dropped significantly. Because when I'm in class, I'm the kind of kid that asks like a million like small questions. Like I feel like in every single day that I have class, I have to stop asking questions or else other people will hate me. Like, I'm like, well, I think I've passed uh, the uh, allowable amount of questions for today without people getting upset or like disturbing the pacing of the class. So I'm going to stop asking questions. This semester scuffed, hard agree. There's no need when you just cheat on everything. Well, I mean, I'm not like cheating. I'm just like looking at my notes, but if I don't have to know anything, then I don't have to learn anything. And if everything's online and what the teacher goes over in the online lecture that she leaves up is the exact same thing that I read in the book for the assignment anyways, then what's the point, you know? But whatever. Like I'm kind of upset because there is one class where we have to do a very in-depth writing response to a few questions. And these questions are like essay questions, basically, which is fine. The assignment itself is okay, but they require a very deep knowledge of what is going on in the chapter. Also, I was going to mention that you place a portal for that so you can go back to Shikari. But this requires a very intense knowledge of what's going on in the chapter. And then... Then we crash. But and then the teacher goes over it. But she's like, um, here is the very entry level, surface level, uh, definition of stuff. Um, this is pretty much all I need to know. Um, yeah, I mean, basically this is just what your textbook went over, but I just wanted to, uh, just talk with you guys about it. Okay. Oh wait, don't I have to talk with this dude? Yeah, I do. Okay. These are prerequisite classes for next semester. Yeah, I have the same thing going on because I'm starting to take a lot of upper level courses and I know so the way that like grades one through 14 or something like that till you're like a junior in, in college um, teachers don't expect you to remember shit. And so the first few weeks, you're literally just reviewing stuff. Even in like my sophomore classes, we were like, all right, we're going over basic accounting stuff for about one or two weeks just just to make sure you get the fundamentals i go into my junior level accounting he puts a problem up on the board i don't even know if it speaks english and he's like i expect you all to know how to do this uh so go ahead and do it i'm like what dude what i'm looking around i'm like bro do you know how to do this and he goes yo i have no fucking clue how to do this either dude i talked to the girl next to me do you know what's going on no i i was hoping you did I turn around to the guy behind me, and he's like, don't look at me, dude. Oh, <laughs> don't look at me. This is your major? No, this stuff. Yeah, pretty much. But yeah, at this point, they no longer go over, like, review and stuff. And so they're like, all right, you should know this stuff by now. Come on. You're upperclassmen now. Oh, I gotta watch out for the slams, but... Come on, you guys. Let's uh, not be so fatigued anymore. You're, uh... Not, not a freshman anymore. Come on. So uh, focus up, you guys. But yeah, that's that's pretty much how my upper level classes is. And I can't imagine what it's going to be like as a senior. I have a, a full-time scholarship for education. And I guarantee you that I'm going to lose it by my uh, very last semester. But honestly, at that point, I'm okay. I'll just take a loan. I get and then I'm going to get the scope one again later. The teacher's like fishing for answers around. They're like, do you know what it is, Jonathan? Jonathan goes, no. Do you know what it is, Sarah? And Sarah goes, no. The teacher looks in your general direction. And you just shake your head like, no, do not even try me, dude. Uh, I should have probably equipped Astromentus. That guy has some pretty big deeps mitigation.
Yeah, teachers will be understanding, I guess, next semester, but, um... Like, long-term, they definitely won't be. They'll be like, alright, well, that shouldn't affect you. That was last semester. This is this semester. We'll say some shit like that, dude. They'll find a way. They'll find a way to be the most, uh... Annoying thing in the world, you know? When are the servers going down? Uh... They are going down in 55 minutes to deploy the Jardian nerf. And the uh, Conqueror nerf as well. Where you can respawn the Conqueror very quickly. Dude, if Jonathan doesn't know, nobody knows. Dude, I'm pissed, alright? I have a class. It's not weighted. Not weighted. But uh, we had this exam. The exam was really difficult. But it's alright, you know? Maybe the, the exam's like... Curved, sorry, the word I'm looking for is curved. I'm like, alright, shouldn't be that bad. I take the exam, I'm like, oh my god. That, that exam literally bent me over. And I was like, well, maybe it's not that bad. Maybe you won't be like, because there's some, there's some like, essay questions. And I'm like, maybe you won't be too particular on those ones. Yeah, no, I was, uh, I was very wrong. In fact, I couldn't have been more wrong in my life. Because he was, uh, very specific on the answers. I was like, uh, actually, Tai Tai, you didn't quite answer it uh, in the way that I wanted you to. I was like, all right, whatever. I'll take the C. I was like, okay. Uh, what was the highest grade? And people were like, yo. That one dude, you know, that one dude, I think his name's like Aaron or something like that. This dude is literally the smartest guy in our class. He gets 100% anytime it's possible. Sometimes he gets 96%. But when teachers say that the highest grade was X... Aaron is the guy who always gets it. I don't know how, I don't know why. He just devotes his life to studying. All respect to him. Uh, I think he has like a social life and stuff, but uh, he doesn't like play video games or have like any other like hobbies and stuff like that. Uh, but dude's just all about juicing his brain. You know what I'm saying? Okay, well, not in a, a legal sense, but XUC kind of juicing. It's whatever the juice is that you want it to be. Anyways, this guy's like brain blasting. This guy's playing like, uh, what's that one game? Like Smart Dogs or whatever? Nintendogs? And he's like learning... No, that's a different brain game. Anyways, he's, he's playing some, some cool math games.com. And he's, uh, he's popping off. And I accepted the C on my exam, you know? I, I understand. Uh, the teacher is very specific on something that just answers. And people are like, what was the highest grade? Aaron gets... An 81%. That's it. This dude consistently gets 100% on exams. Like nobody else's business. Remember, this guy's blasting cool math games. This guy's rank 1 on the ladder there. This guy might as well be the rank 1 on the ladder like on exams as well because he's just that smart. And he gets an 81%. He's teetering on a fucking C. I asked the people around me, I'm like, hey, what did you get? And they're like, C? What'd you get? I got a D. What'd you get? Uh, I'd rather not talk about it, you know, but... Oh dear, I gotta be a little careful here, but... Should be fun. As long as I have my Astramentus on. I think I'm just gonna keep this on for the, uh, the remainder of the boss fights. Is Sunder Slayer the build? Uh, maybe if you're living in 3.0 days. You don't do homework any good to good marks? Hmm. I do, like, all my homework when I remember to do it. I actually had to buy a planner because I was pretty inconsistent with my homework. Now that I'm, like, all online, I'm glad I have a planner so I can actually remember when stuff's due. Because these teachers do not make it very apparent when their stuff is due. I'm going to be honest. They're like, oh, by the way, uh, there's an assignment due. It's like, I don't know, whenever some, just do it before it closes, basically. And I'm like, I don't, I don't know what that means, dude. That's not a real thing. Alright, here I will go bleed though. Because I am not a fan of this boss. Yeah, I don't have 2k life, by the way. And how do I get more? Asking for a friend. Whoa. This thing's actually gonna kill me, dude. Consecrated Path is going to kill me. I wasn't able to one-shot Dodri. That's unfortunate. Saddening, I would say. When are they going to deploy the update, though? Oh, did I forget my skill points as well? Oh, I think I didn't get the one in Cory anyways. One of your professors takes attendance for Zoom. One of my professors does as well. It's the most scuffed thing ever. 
half the class can't hear audio on their computer, and so they have to dial in on their phone. I was one of those people, because it was just like overloaded for a few days. And so I had to call in on my phone. I called the number on my phone to join the meeting, you know? And it said that there are too many people on the line, and so I have to wait for people to leave. And so I couldn't join the call, so I was just watching my teacher, like, mouth the words of, like, the PowerPoint slides. <sighs> Dude. <laughs> I can't tell you, like, how bad this is. Alright, the reason why I didn't grab my skill point earlier and why I don't talk to Tasuni ever is because I talked to Arasha and I'm able to get both skill points. Ideally, you do that a lot sooner, but it's fun. Give you the zoom code. No. Also, in the same as that class... Okay, so I had this class yesterday. The one where, where she takes attendance for our online meetings. And, uh... She asked a question... And nobody was paying attention. And I, I didn't like the question she asked. I was like, dude, if I answer this question, I'm gonna look like a fucking idiot. Because I, I honestly don't even know, like, how to answer that. But I know that, like, 99% of the other people just aren't paying attention. And so she's like, alright, anybody want to answer that? Dot, 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 dot. Anybody at all? Dot, 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 dot. Anybody in the classroom uh, want to answer the question I just asked? Silence. And she's like, alright, um, why doesn't, uh, somebody raise their hand? We'll do- it'll, like, play a little, little, like, sound or whatever. Oh, that's a- that's a nice trait. It'll play a little sound and, uh, you know, you'll be able to- to answer the question. Silence. She's like, somebody better raise their hand, or I'm just gonna be sitting here all day. We're sitting around. Let me make this trade real quick, actually. Call me cute dog, but... And so, we sit in silence, and we sit in silence, and finally somebody raises their hand. And she goes, ah, yes, uh, what do you think the answer is? And he goes, oh no, I just, I just wanted to see if the raise your hand thing works. But doesn't this guy know that... Hey, man. Thank you. But, uh, he was like, no, nah, I just wanted to see if this thing works. And so that was it. So we sat in silence for another, like, 10 seconds. What class is this? Duelist, but you could do this as, like, almost any class. It wouldn't be the same exact tree, obviously, but it'd be pretty similar. Easy 40x. You know, I bought that thing for 35 and then realized that I didn't need it for my build. And so I just put it up for 40, waiting for somebody to buy it. And I had a feeling that I would like accidentally log out or crash again, and so he wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't know who he is. What subject in university? Uh, it's some management class. It's like management... I don't know, dude. I'm taking three management classes, and honestly, they're all the same, like, wishy-washy, like, common sense stuff, but they always ask the most, like, in-detail response. I'm like, she, dude, I don't know. I'm an accountant, dude. Just don't do anything, like, stupid, you know? Do things that make sense. Come on. So that's why I really like class, like in class time, so I get to ask like these really in-depth questions. And I kind of like to, to push the teacher a little bit. Not that I'm like, haha, let me show how much smarter I am. But I'm like, what if you were in a situation like this? I'm that kid in class. But I, I just find that stuff interesting. I'm sure half the, the people in my classes don't like me that much, but... Uh, I think it's fine, because every now and again I got people who come up to me like, yo... I like the question you asked, man. That was good stuff. I'm like, really? You mean it? I'm like, yeah, dude. I mean, not that I was wondering the same thing, but I thought it was a, uh, I thought it was a good question. I found it interesting. I felt uh, I pay more attention today. I'm like, thanks, man. You're that guy? Yeah, pretty much. Oh shit, I'm about to get one shot, guy. I get drive by. Whoa, dude! It almost happened again. I follow my flask so I can hopefully avoid it this time. It's because I am getting an education that is highly valuable. Oh, I just realized that I didn't get my uh, Astromentus on. And uh, as such, is this even the right vendor? No, it's not. You know what? Doesn't even matter because we crashed anyways. But my education's expensive, dude. So I'll ask whatever question I want. Oh, we're doing rid of the fury. 
But how many times can I crash a window? May have got some setting off, like chat said. That's not the one, that's the skill point. Let's see if I can do this in under 5 minutes though. Or under 2 hours. I'm objectively making the best use of my universe experience because you're just sitting in class like a zombie and your brain is rotting. That's what I did freshman, uh, like my first semester, is I just kind of like coasted and I was like, oh, these classes are kind of hard and they demand that I have like, that I like at least pay attention. Like I don't go out of my way to be like, haha, do you really know the answer to this complicated subject? I'm just like, uh, say I were in a situation that was like that, but it's a little bit more complicated like that. Because, you know, this is the real world and everything and not everything is just like straight out of a textbook. And they're like, sometimes they'll they'll give me a really good answer. I'm like, oh, that's, wow, thank you. And every now and again, I'll just be like, shit, I don't know, dude. I just teach this class. Come on, man. I'm not getting paid enough for this. I haven't had a teacher say those exact words, but they might as well have. Especially when they couldn't answer like almost any of the, the questions I had. I'm like, oh, all right. Did he have any real life world experience? Question mark? I don't know, dude. Get more life. I feel like uh, life is the play of the game. Wait, why do I only have 515 decks? Oh, it's because I uh, don't have my Astromentus equipped. I see. Boop, 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 boop. Damn. Oh no. Going the wrong way. And I say that my, uh, holy shit, I'm out of mana. Wah! My education is free because of my scholarship. Yeah. But it doesn't mean that like, oh, I can just like not, not care because, uh, you know. A, uh, cause I'm getting it free. Therefore I should be more respectful to my classmates because of their paying. Like, no, my education is worth X amount. It's worth, you know. Well over $10,000 because I'm American, you know. So I might as well get my money's worth, essentially. Lewis to Bannon, and then we go to Catavo. And I'm just going to keep this equipped and I think keep right off. Yeah, exactly. I still pay with time. Like, I, I could be streaming 12 hours a day. But I can't because... Like, after this Catavo, I have to go do homework, dude. You know? What do you think about it? I've got stuff to do. Then again, after this Catalpa, I've got to go find my phone. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Oh no. I think I will actually go out of my way to cut out that part uh, in Act 8, where I was looking for my phone for like two minutes. Because if I'm cutting this run kind of close and the actual video length is like two minutes and or two hours and one minute, I know somebody would be like, um, actually, sir, this is not a sub two hour run because you actually have a greater than two hour long video. How can the run be shorter than the video? Does it make sense to be? Former college teacher, education matters. Yeah, I mean... It is kind of annoying for me because if something doesn't like interest me in any way, like if it's completely unrelated to what I'm doing in the real world, then I just genuinely don't really care about it. Like marketing, for example. Marketing, I just did not care about. Was it an easy A class? Yes. Did I care enough to get an A? No. Was I okay with just barely doing anything and getting a B? Yes. Was I in blood stance like for the last hour? I think I was actually. I think since Act Nine, boss, if I'm not mistaken. I might need to go back for flesh at some point. But I mean, that's all school, right? So. Boop, boop, boop. I guess I didn't need a whale war chief there. As soon as he becomes undamageable, I go there. You're addicted to video games? I mean, me too, man. But video games aren't like something where I'm like, man, I wish I could stop doing that. Man, I wish I could focus on real life. Man, I wish I had a girlfriend. Nah, I've been there, dude. I've done that. Not worth it, dude. 
Herald build's dead in uh, 40 minutes, it is. Correct. Whoa, dude. Almost got debated out of that. Okay, this one's important though. And there we go. Slash death. Hardcore viable. Not that I would level like this in hardcore. Holy moly, dude. In hardcore, I'd actually use like life gear. <laughs> and like, maybe not seven leagues, but like boots with like life and not a brisk wrap, so. And then we uh, take our passers, and then you can see here that we have everything, lads. It's a bit easier to see in my heart out, but. Boop, 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 24 passives, there it is. There you go, guys. That is the hollow palm run. One last showcase of the tree. Um, I just kind of like went down like this. Got this jewel. Went hollow palm. Uh, I got this life early on. And then I went for dexterity, just because. I mean, it really doesn't matter where you go. After that, I went to sign life wheel. Uh, this is pretty nice for sorry ability. You really don't need damage to like way later on. You can see like after that I went Dervish, respect these three points, went through like this. I got elemental damage after getting some more life and stuff. Basically just didn't need damage just because it carries us, but 